In this video, I will consider one numerical on nodal analysis. For the circuit shown below, find the voltage V at node by using nodal analysis. This is the given circuit. We need to find voltage V using node analysis. So in node analysis, the first thing is we need to mark all branch currents. So here, let me assume current through this branch is I1. Let current through this branch is I2 and let current through this branch is I3. So in this circuit, we can observe that there is only one node. Now we have to apply KCL to that node. That is, now apply Kirchhoff's current law to node V. We know that KCL is nothing but incoming current is equal to outgoing current or algebraic sum of incoming current is equal to algebraic sum of outgoing current. Here I1 is leaving the node, I2 is leaving the node and I3 is leaving the node. So no any incoming current. So sum of I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. I can say I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. After applying KCL, now we need to convert these currents in terms of voltages. So I1 can be represented as I1 is the current which is flowing from V towards 50 volt source. So we should write I1 as potential difference between these two divided by register. That is, I can write it as V minus 50 divided by V out 2 plus I2 is nothing but v divided by 3 plus j5 that is v divided by 3 plus j5 and i3 is that is plus i3 is v minus 50 that is v minus 50 divided by these two that is 3 minus j8 is equal to 0. Now let me simplify this I can represent it as v by 2 minus 50 by 2 plus this can be written as v divided by j plus 5 3 plus j5 plus here i can represent it as v divided by 3 minus j8 minus 50 divided by 3 minus j8 is equal to 0. let me simplify this further i'll take v common so it will be 1 by 2 plus here we have plus 1 over 3 plus j5 plus here coefficient of v is 1 upon 3 minus j8 3 minus j8 so here we have minus 50 by 2 i will take this on right hand side and this term on right hand side so 50 by 2 is 25 so this will be equal to 25 this will become plus 50 divided by 3 minus j8 3 minus j8 now i will solve this using calculator go to the mode and choose complex mode now feed the values 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 plus 1 over 3 plus j5 that is 1 you can use this operator 3 plus j5 3 plus phi i then we have plus 1 over that is 1 over 3 minus j8 3 minus 8 i equal to it gives 0 0.629 minus 0 0.037 now similarly on right hand side i will simplify this we have 25 plus 50 over 3 minus 8i. So this is the result on right hand side. So let me write for y that is v is equal to 27.054 plus 5.479j divided by we have this term that is 0 
629 minus 0.037 J. Let me solve this using calculator. Term is there. So divided by we have this answer that is 0.629 minus 0.037 I. Close the bracket. So this will be the result that is 42.353 plus 11.202 J. Let me write it. So this is the result in rectangular form. Let me keep the result in polar form also that is V is equal to this in polar form. Go to the mode, choose compound mode. So here we have pole. So choose that option polar of. So this is the values we suppose to fit 42.353 comma. We should use comma and fit the imaginary values that is 11.202. So it gives 43.80 at an angle of 14.80. 814. This is the answer. So this is the required V value words. Thank you for watching.